Hello and welcome to this Facebook Live, what I'm going to be talking about when you wonder what other people see in you. My name is Sophie from sophiedebrozek.com and I'm going to be doing a series of Facebook Lives this week, which I hope you will tune in for and enjoy. So, um, first of all, a couple of things. I am in Mauritius, but I can't be doing this outside today because it's ridiculously hot. We're in the middle of summer, and so, and this is also why I'm a little bit fly away here because I've got a fan just here. I don't like air conditioning, and I'm hoping that you won't see like little frogs and things behind me. There is a frog in my office somewhere which hasn't managed to escape yet. So if you see it, that's completely normal. Anyway, so back to today's subject. So. Have you ever had this thought to yourself? What do other people see in me? Okay, now that could be your friends or acquaintances. It could be in the case of your relationship. What does your other half see in you? It could be to do with your job. Maybe, you know, what does your boss see in you as an employee? Uh, it could be to do with your business. Why on earth do clients buy from you? What do people see in you? So this can be brought back by self-doubt, you know, self low self-esteem, low self-confidence, low self-worth, and it can be really, really debilitating. And this is something that I've dealt with um, in the past myself, um, dealing with sort of low self-esteem and just wondering why on earth do people want to be friends with me? Why do people want to spend time with me? Why does this person want to offer me a job? You know, even why does this person want to be in a relationship with me? And it's awful when you feel this way. So that's why I wanted to do a Facebook Live about this subject because so, so many people um, who write to me, who message me, send me emails, contact me, this is very, very high up on their um, list of issues that they want to help with. So that's why I wanted to kick off with this subject as um, our, my first Facebook Live in this series that I'm doing. So just to give you an idea of um, why I suffered with some self-esteem and self-worth issues in the past. I just want to show you this picture. I'm not very good with mirrored images. <laughs> so this is what I look like. Uh, mirror image that way. This is what I look like when I was... So the slightly bigger hair without the tie is when I was 11. And the one with the tie and still crazy hair, but not quite as big, is when I was about 14. So as you can see, I looked absolutely fantastic. And this was a time when most of my friends had like lovely straight hair, you know, sheeny, shiny and glossy. And I've got this super scary afro going on that sometimes went out at the sides, quite often went out at the top, sometimes did a bit of both. And so you can imagine that that didn't help, you know, when you're sort of 14 and that's what you look like, it's quite difficult to have high self-esteem. So I remember at the time when I was at secondary school, and I went to secondary school with some lovely, lovely people, and this is no reflection on them at all, but I, you know, I'd be like, why on earth do people want to spend time with me? Why do people want to talk to me? Why do people want to invite me to birthday parties or sleepovers or anything like that? Because I looked ridiculous, and, and I was aware of it, and, you know, it was a big issue for me. So this is something that I've had to work through a lot over the years and you know whether it's been friends or whether it's been in a relationship or whether it's been in a work situation it's really really important to overcome this issue of what do people see in me what do others see in me you know there's nothing worse than that feeling when you rock up to a social event and there are groups of people chatting and you feel on the outside and are they talking about you and do they want you to be there? And when you leave that group, you have this paranoia about, oh, now they're talking about me and saying, oh, God, I'm so glad that she's left and things like that. And that is just such a horrible, horrible feeling to have. So I want to talk today about how you can actually deal with that. So it doesn't matter in what situation it is. It doesn't matter whether it's with friends. You know, school mums in, in the school playground, um, colleagues at work, your other half in your relationship. 
It doesn't matter where you're feeling this, but we need to help you get over that issue because when you do get over that, it's so much better. <laughs> Life can be so much better, believe me. So what you can do is, um, what you really need to do is you need to work out how to um, raise your levels of self-esteem and how you feel about yourself. So there are various different ways you can do this. So one that I really love that works well is to ask close friends who you love and trust or family members or people that you feel com you know, comfortable and safe with. Ask them to tell you three things that they like about you or three things that they like doing with you. And if you feel uncomfortable doing that, you could already uh, tell them three things that you like doing with them or three things that you like about them. So, you know, rather than just asking the question off the bat, you could say, for example, um, I'm working on um, a little task at the moment and I'd really like your help with this, if that's possible. And you can say, so what, uh, what I'd really love to know is what are three things that you like about me? Or what are three things that you like doing with me? And then you can say in exchange, so for example, these are the three things I like about you. I like that you've got a fantastic sense of humor. I like that we can sit in our sweatpants on the sofa and with no makeup on and scary hair and you know, neither of us will judge each other and we'll have a really lovely time together. Or I like that um, you always get, get me, have great ideas for birthday presents for me. Or I like that you uh, love my kids even when they are in scary, screamy, toddler meltdown. You know, it can be anything like this. So if you go first of all to the person and say, this is what I like about you, or this is what I like doing with you, it makes it easier for them to then come back to you and it makes it easier for you to be sort of comfortable to ask them to say what do they like about you or what do they like doing with you. Now this is an incredible exercise and it's something I did um, two or three years ago now and it was so, so interesting. You've got to be careful who you ask this question to and I always think it's better written down rather than pick someone on the spot and asking them like that face to face. And so I asked a selection of different friends and different family members about this and I got really, really interesting feedback and I was absolutely buzzing afterwards because there are things that I didn't think about at all. I didn't think about, you know, that that was something that people liked about me or even that it was a thing with me and people would come back and they would give me this, this really incredible information about what they liked about me or liked doing with me and that was a huge boost. So that is number one. Number one, ask close friends or family members or people you feel safe or comfortable with to tell you three things they like about you or three things that they like doing with you. That's number one. If it is something to do with your other half, your relationship, okay, you can tell your other half what you like about him or her and ask him or her to reciprocate. So this again is sort of working towards this, what is good about me, what is positive about me, what do other people like about me. So maybe you're going to tell your other half that you love it when he brings you breakfast in bed or you um, think it's fantastic when he surprises you and takes the kids off for the day so you can have a day's break or <clears throat> that you love um, it when you curl up on the sofa and he gives you a foot massage. It could be anything like that. So you're gonna tell him what you like about him. And it could be again, what you like about him or what you like doing with him. And you'll ask him to reciprocate. And you, really say, you, know, you don't have to say, oh my God, I'm having really big issues and I wonder what you see in me and I feel really bad. You don't have to say any of that. You can say, you know, I'm doing this task um, and it's, you know, it's perfectly private and confidential and it stays just between you and me, but um, I would love you to tell me the things that you like about me. And again, that can be massively boosting in your relationship, you know, because he's going to come back to you and tell you things that you had no idea that he liked about you, that he didn't, you didn't realize that he appreciated or whatever. If your other half comes back to you with nothing or doesn't want to do this task or um, says nasty things, or whatever, then, okay, I don't want to take this lightly, but it might be time to look very, very seriously at your relationship with your other half, okay? And that's 
very, very light for something like Facebook Live, but um, I will give you some information about how I can help you with that in, at the end of this video. So we talked about close friends, we talked about relationships, and now I want to talk about work, job, business. So it doesn't matter whether you work for someone else, it doesn't matter whether you run your own business, in that working environment, it's really important that you've got confidence in yourself and that you don't feel uncomfortable and that you have self-esteem and self-confidence because that's how you're gonna move forwards and that's how you're gonna enjoy your working life because let's face it, we spend a lot of our time in our jobs and in our business. <clears throat> so what you can do is at work, you can create something called a compliment board. Now, a compliment board is where you're going to create a little collage of every single compliment that you receive. So every time your boss says to you, oh, you did a great job today, you're going to make a little note of that. Or every time your client says to you, oh, wow, thank you so much for this presentation that you did for us, or thank you so much for um, creating this website for us, or whatever it is that you have to do for your clients. And every time your colleagues thank you for something or compliment you on something, so maybe they say to you, oh, wow, um, it was really interesting what you had to say in that meeting this morning, or thank you for standing up for the team when it came to this issue, or whatever it is. Every single time you get something positive or a compliment from someone at work, you're gonna make a note of it. Now you can either do this on something like Canva or on Photoshop and do some really, really funky fonts and different colors and make it really nice, or you can just write it down just like that. Uh, you know, pen and paper, old school. And then what you can do is you are gonna make that into what I call a compliments board. So you're gonna um, kind of make a collage and cut these out and stick them all over sort of a piece of paper or card or whatever. And you can either then take that home or do it at home and have something that you look at at home or it's something that you could have in your office that you like, pull out of your drawer every time you're having a bit of a wobble. Or you could do that online and have it just on your computer so that whenever you're having that wobble, you just pull it up on like a, a maybe um, something you create a Pinterest board for it or um, a collage on Canva or whatever works for you but something that you can refer back to when you're having a wobble, okay? And compliments boards are not just for work either. You could create yourself a compliments board with your friends, your family, your neighbors, the school mums, your colleagues, anything. So you could have a general one for life. You could have a specific one for different areas of your life, you know, how you feel in your relationship, how you feel with your friends, whatever. Doesn't really matter, I mean, you do what works best for you, but the importance is having a compliments board, okay? Or it could be a notebook, if you prefer, and you can just make notes every time someone pays you a compliment. Or if somebody sends you a text message that has a compliment, you can do a screenshot of that, for example, send for an email. And you're gonna gather all that information because what you want is to have this reserve of positive comments about you so that when you have a wobble, when you're feeling really down about yourself, when you're saying to yourself, what do people see in me? You pull out this compliments board or your compliments notebook or whatever it is, and you can say, oh, wow, do you know what, actually, if you look at it or if you, you know, flip through it, people do actually think a lot of me. You know, they said this, they did, did that. Wow, okay, maybe after all, I'm not so shitty, and maybe after all, uh, you know, people do see something in me and do think that I have some kind of worth and some kind of value. So that is very, very important. Okay, so I hope this has been helpful for you. And there's something that I want to tell you which is very, very exciting is that I am launching a brand new program tomorrow called Life Reboot Camp. So when I say tomorrow, that is Tuesday, the 20th of February. Um, it is called Life Reboot Camp because you are going to do a reboot on your life. Now, this is an online program but don't get all worried about that. It's an online program that you can also do offline. You can do it in your own time, whenever, wherever, however suits you. And the program itself starts on the 26th of February, but then you can join at any time. However, the only thing to bear in mind is that my launch period, when I'm gonna do a super interesting launch price, is between 
Tuesday 20th of February and Sunday 25th of February. After that, it's still available all year round, but it's going to be at its usual full price. Okay, so you can find that on my website at www.sophielabrosek.com. So that's my general website. And then if you just do a slash camp at the end, it will take you through to my Life Reboot Camp page. Now it's a program, there are six modules, and that is delivered over six weeks, but you do it in your own time. It just happens to be delivered one module a week. And you do whichever module suits you, and you do them whenever suits you. So there's six different modules. The first module is all about you. So that is all about stuff that we've been talking about now and loads more stuff about self-esteem and self-value and self-confidence and self-care and comparing yourself and a million zillion different things. We're all focused around you, okay? Then the second module is all about woo-woo. So whether you're into this or not, it's important to know how it plays an effect on your life. So this is gonna be about gratitude and forgiveness and journaling and manifesting and the law of attraction and all sorts of different levels of woo-woo. Module three is all about relationships and friendships. Module four is about parenting, but not like, you know, when is it time to potty train my child, but more about your life as a parent. How can you make it work? How can you get support to make it work? You know, talking about those taboo subjects that come up when you're a parent, like, you know, this is quite shit. This is not what I want to be, you know, this is not what I had thought, how I thought it was going to be. And all kinds of stuff like that. Then module five is all about your work and your career. So this could be whether you are an employee or whether you run your own business. Whoa, big thunderstorm outside. And module six is all about decision making and facing your fears. And now it has a ridiculous amount of information in that, I mean, crazy amounts, but I've broken it down so you can either take it on board in bite-sized chunks that last five to 10 minutes, either video, audio, or text, depending on what you prefer, and you can choose different ones at different time, and you can, or you can do all three. If you really, really loved that bit of information, you can have it in all three. Um, and so the normal price is $497, because there is so much information there. However, the launch price, which is from the 20th to the 25th of February, is $197. So if you like the sound of this, don't miss out on that launch period, because it would be a real shame to pay full price when you're interested. Now, I absolutely hate the uncertainty of buying things online, because you don't know if you're going to get something of value, and you just don't know what you're going to get. And I massively believe in Life Reboot Camp. So I offer a full refund after the course, when you've done everything, and you've downloaded everything, and you've been through it, so that if you found that it isn't useful or it isn't helpful, you just contact me and you get a full refund. Because I hate that uncertainty of buying online and then being disappointed. So I want to make sure that you do not feel that. So where do you need to go to? It is www.sophielabrosek.com slash camp. And I registration opens tomorrow, Tuesday, 20th of February. I would love to have you on board. And otherwise you can just get on the waiting list now and you'll be first to hear about it when I open the doors tomorrow morning. And the first sign-ups tomorrow get extra goodies. So come and join us on that and have a lovely day. And I'm gonna end now because there is a massive thunderstorm coming and I'm guessing we're gonna lose our power and internet connection at the moment. So I will be back with you on Facebook Live tomorrow. And tomorrow's subject is your thoughts decide your life, good and bad. And I'm gonna be talking all about how your thoughts decide what happens in your life and how you need to make that work for you. So I'd love you to join me tomorrow. Tomorrow's one is at what time? Tomorrow is Tuesday. So tomorrow is at uh, 10 a.m. Mauritian time, which is 6 a.m. UK time. So come and join me then. Have an absolutely incredible day, evening, depending on what time it is for you. And if you're Mauritius, in Mauritius, good luck with the weather. I hope you don't get drenched. See you soon. Bye.